This is never what you want to see on your street, especially when it's 7 in the morning. The illegal drifting happening at all times of the day in one west side neighborhood and neighbors there, as we've seen in other neighborhoods, have just had enough. Victor Williams there tonight with what they want the city to do to stop it. You know, these tire marks really say it all. Evidence of the careless drivers that are doing donuts right here in the middle of this residential neighborhood. Well, some of the people who live here, they tell me that they've been going in circles themselves, trying to get speed bumps placed right here in the middle of their community. I mean, it woke me up at seven in the morning, um, enough to run down the street in my pajamas to try to get some video. <laughs> Daniel Wallace and his neighbors say it happens in the morning in the evening and all throughout the night on Asbury. For you to drive so fast down the street, are you afraid that you're going to hit somebody? Reckless drivers spinning out with donuts and speeding up and down the busy residential street where children play on a regular basis. If they hit anyone, it is going to be a fatality. The group has been trying to at least get speed bumps installed. A request Daniel says has fallen on deaf ears. I've applied on the Detroit website several times this year, several times last year, and I can't seem to get any speed bumps. DPD is now aware of the situation and is insisting they will be cracking down with the illegal drifting and drag racing detail. We try to uh, prevent it from happening because we know with these drag racing and drifting, it has caused uh, several accidents. Juveniles have been struck. But these community members just want something done before it comes down to that, as they've already seen tragedy before. And we had that back in the 90s, where a kid actually got hit and killed. And so all we want is some speed bumps, man. And back here live at Detroit Police Headquarters, we're told that DPD is going to be keeping an eye on the location to make sure everything is fine from this point on forward. As far as those speed bumps, we're told by city officials that 4,500 are going to be installed here in the city of Detroit just this year alone. Unfortunately, Daniel's block is not going to be a part of that, but we're told that it is on the waiting list potentially for next year. Victor Williams, Local 4.